and welcome to Cecil Says. Well, it's that time of the year where um, it's uh, I'm bored. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm it's between Christmas and New Year's, and I am stuck house sitting uh, out in Long Island. I'm not stuck. I'm actually very glad I'm between places right now. So luckily, uh, I have a friend who is away for a couple weeks, and I have his beautiful home. So I figured, what would I do? Let's let's do something where if he came home early and caught me, I would have absolutely no way to explain. It'd be easier if I got caught with hookers in his house than what I'm doing right now. Which reminds me, I should order some hookers to his house. But, all right, so I'm making the Celebrity Human Centipede. By the way, this is a beautiful uh, Cecil Migo doll custom made. He goes, the deal is, if you're a celebrity, if you send me a celebrity, we have Conan, we have Frankenstein, we have Richie Cunningham, uh, we have the Cowley Lion, and today the maid from the uh, Brady Bunch, Alice, is going to be put uh, a, a face first into uh, the Cowardly Lion's hairy ass. That it will be her place on the human centipede. I'll let you guys vote on someone who goes next. Uh, so the deal is, if you're a, if you're a horror, a movie horror like uh, star, you get. You get your you're saved. You go into the horror movie. I like the horror one, so they don't go on the human centipede unless it's a double. Like I got a double of Frankenstein, so he goes on the centipede. So I'll I guess I should stand over there with the other monsters. I'm kind of a monster at this point, anyway, for doing this. There's my little bottle of Jack. This was really nice. So oh and uh, and someone I forget who was was I got to find the letter made me a custom uh, coffin for. Uh, my Mego uh, Dracula, which I really appreciate. I have really wonderful fans who send me all these things. But I got a whole bunch of new stuff. So today's is going to be Alice. But you guys are going to pick the next one. And I also have another question. Okay, I, I, I was sent... Who's, hold on, let me see if I can find the letter. Okay. Uh, a, a fan called Waking Up 24 7 365 sent me this, which is uh, a two pack of Dorothy and the Wicked Witch of the West. Now, let me ask you a question Does the witch, Wicked Witch, which, this, Jesus, does the Wicked Witch get spared? Sorry, I, you know, I should have used the microphone. Does the Wicked Witch get spared because does she fall into classic? movie monster does she go with the monsters over here or should she be attached to the centipede stripped and attached i don't know i'm going to let you guys decide in in, in the uh, comments just say whether she goes on the centipede or she goes with the with the monsters dorothy's definitely going on oh i don't like that at all yeah you're going on there uh alice is going today but i also want to show you so you guys are going to let me know does the, I made this is a, a this is a human centipede that I made from the movie. I used Sulu as the Chinese guy. Uh, I used Joe from Facts of Life and uh, Alyssa Milano from Charmed as the two uh, girls who were attached to him. Uh, but people sent me somebody anonymously sent me so many of these dolls. I have a Freddy Krueger Kruger Migo doll that's going in. <clears throat> Maybe I'll open them. Why not? Let's do an opening. No one wants to watch. I'll just show the finished product with Alice. Who wants to watch sausage getting made? I'll open Freddy Krueger right now. People like Freddy Krueger openings. Uh, so here is Fred. This is Mr. Krueger. Please, Mr. Krueger is my father. You call me Freddy. Um... I like this one a lot. All right, let me see what he looks like with the monsters. He is definitely a classic movie monster. He's probably 40 years old at this point from the movie, so definitely a classic horror villain. Uh, I also have uh, it, uh, what's his name? Pennywise, the original one by, played by Tim Curry from the TV series. That I think was from the 90s. It was on TV. Uh, yeah, should I do an opening on this or should I do an opening each time? I'll tell you what. I'm going to open the Dorothy and 
and someone else saw, sent, sent me this one. Uh, Headless horse, Horseman, which is kind of cool. So he definitely couldn't go on to the uh, human centipede at all. But, all right, so we have those to still open up. But right now, and also I have to go on to, these are the ones that will not be spared. These will be going on. So after Alice, you guys have to tell me who goes on after Alice. Should it be the king, Elvis Presley from Jailhouse Rock, the gayest rock song ever made? Sly Stallone as Rocky Balboa. Should he be attached to Alice? I would think those guys would probably want to be attached to Elizabeth Montgomery's asshole, from um, Samantha from Bewitched. So I don't think either of them would want Alice. Oh, I have a Sulu here. Evil Su Maybe Evil Sulu should go on to Alice's asshole. And then we have Evil uh, Ahura. So that'll be open. And then we don't forget, we still have... These were all sent by fans, and I really appreciate them. A lot of them were sent anonymously. Uh, we still have the Wicked Witch and Dorothy. Let me open this one now. The worst thing is I have to... Uh, I have to cut the clothes off of, uh, <laughs> I have to cut the clothes off of Alice because a lot of times they have them on there really, and then I feel like, uh, like Jeff Goldblum and Death Wish, the first one. You know, Je uh, young Jeff Glo Goldblum was the guy who, uh, uh, raped and murdered Charles Bronson's wife in that, in that movie. You know what the weird thing is? I don't think Charles Bronson ever killed the group of guys who actually fucked up his uh, wife and daughter. I think he just started killing other people. If I don't, if I remember correctly, I think in Death Wish 2, when his new, no, they raped his wife again and his housekeeper. By the way, it, don't ever get into any kind of relationship with Charles Bronson. You will get raped, possibly murdered. This guy has the worst fucking luck. Well, he doesn't. Any, anybody attached. So anyway, in the second one, his daughter gets raped again. Jesus Christ, she was like catatonic. Uh, anyway, it was just, I was just I just put on a scene from before because I was like, was that Jeff Goldblum? I remember that it, it was. He was in one. I think Lawrence Fishburne it was the rapist in two. So a lot of good uh, actors got their start uh, raping Charles Bronson's uh, wives and daughters, housekeepers and such. All right, so you guys are gonna decide. Man, why is this shit on here like this? Why are they making it Cecil proof? Here's the hat. I feel like I'm gonna. Why is it so mighty? Is this so people don't steal it, or is this so it doesn't move the package for the display? So, you guys have to let me know, does the witch get spared? She's a pretty good-looking witch. I mean, not good-looking as far as attractive. I wish she was a Dina Mazel in Wicked. You guys never saw that. That was back in the day. She was the, uh, or maybe it did. She was the Wicked Witch of the West on uh, Broadway. Wow, her and uh, Kristen Chen Chenoweth uh, did it, were on Wicked. But they, I wish I had the Adina Mazel one, but I have the... Uh, what the hell was this lady's name? I forget her name now. She was a she was a good witch, good at being a bad witch. Anyway, should should she go? Does she have a home with classic? You know, let's give her her hat. Did she? Christ, she's terrible hair. No wonder she wears a hat. Freddie wears one because he's bald. Uh, should she go with the uh, monsters over here? Or uh, should she uh, be stripped of her uh, gown and uh, attached to the human centipede? Possibly onto Elvis Presley's asshole. There we go. Ah, Christ. Uh, you guys decide. So here's uh, what I want you guys to decide while I do the uh, Jeff Goldblum honors. And cut off Alice's dress. <laughs> I'll do that off camera. Um... Here's what I need you guys to decide for me. Does the witch, Wicked Witch go on to the, uh, 
onto the uh, celebrity what human centipede, or does she go with the classic monsters who are spared? Uh, the and then the next thing I need to know is who will go on to Alice's uh, anus. Uh, will it be? We'll go boy, girl, boy, girl. So after Alice has to be a boy, the choices are you, Sly Stallone, the King of Rock, Elvis Presley, Mr. Sulu, and then uh, that's the choices. So we have, it's either going to be Sulu, Sly, or Elvis go on to... Uh, Alice from the Brady Bunch's ass. All right, I'm going to start to uh, uh, undress her off camera and assemble it. And then I will come in and uh, show you the uh, the finished product when it is done. And yeah, I am losing my mind. Okay, bye. Okay, I am back. Uh, here is the completed, so far, the Celebrity Human Centipede. There we have uh, Conan in the front. Uh, Frankenstein, right behind him. Richie Cunningham, uh, Ron Howard is uh, right up in there. Then we have the Cowardly Lion on to uh, Richie Cunningham. And finally today we had uh, Alice from the Brady Bunch. She is all up in there. I actually hot glue gunned her face to his uh, rectum and then constructed a... Uh, a uh, duct tape diaper, just like in the movie that they wear. Looking on are all the other monsters and myself. Uh, there's Cecil hitting on Judy Garland. Freddie actually looks disgusted by this. And she's like, holy shit, this is my fate. Uh, you guys have to decide, is uh, the witch monster enough to get to chill with the monsters and get a pass? Does she get to hang out with the monster gang? Or does she same does she share the same uh, fate as Judy Garland and she will get added to the chain? Also, you have to guys have to let me know who you want to, me to put on to next. Uh, the choices are Rocky Balboa, uh, Mr. Sulu, and uh, it's gonna be a guy next. So it's gonna be Sly Stallone, George Takei, or uh, who was the other one? Elvis Presley. So yeah. Uh, this is what I'm up to. This is what you do between uh, Christmas and New Year's when you're, I'm fucking stranded in this house. It's nice to have a, a house to myself, but I'm like a little bit cut off from the world. At least in Brooklyn, I could go to a couple bars and chill out. Uh, so this is what I'm doing. I think I'm going to live stream now. And anyway, I'm going to upload this and then live stream. All right. So let me know who you guys choose and the fate of the witch next. And uh, I'll probably uh, throw somebody else on there tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.